I, I'm Professor Dennis Noble, professor at Oxford University, but about 53 years ago, in 1960, when I was working in London, I worked on some equations to represent the rhythm of the heart. I'm still trying to understand the rhythm of the heart <laughs> over 50 years later. It's an impossible and huge project to understand not just the elements of biological systems, the genes and the proteins and so on, but how they are integrated together. And therefore it's vastly bigger in terms of scale than just sequencing the genome. That was vast enough, of course. Putting it all together is going to be very much more difficult. Some people say it's impossible. I say it's not impossible, it's imperatively necessary in order to understand. Well, you need, with this kind of approach, you need many people working together with different skills. You need mathematicians who can work out the equations. You need the experimentalists who get the right data. You need the people who can interpret genomics. You need people who can interpret how cellular function works. You need people who can understand how tissues, organs, and eventually the whole system works. You need engineers. So you've got to bring a group of people together with different skills, and it's only groups that can do that. You can't do it any longer with an isolated person with two or three people in a laboratory. We've, we've gone beyond that in biology.